It's been 12 years since Yigal Amir assassinated Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin. The police have now released the first videotaped interrogation of the killer just shortly after the assassination took place. In it, police accuse Amir of murdering the Prime Minister on November 4, 1995. Amir told police that he arrived at the site of the killing from his house. He said when he arrived at the site, he was surrounded by police and security agents. Then Foreign Minister Shimon Peres came down from the platform where Yitzhak Rabin had been addressing a large crowd at a peace rally that night, followed by Rabin himself. Amir called Peres a secondary target, explaining why he didn't shoot him as well. Rabin was surrounded by bodyguards, he said. I approached him, said Amir, before he entered his vehicle and fired three shots at him. That's when the bodyguards jumped on Amir. The killer said he dropped his pistol. Police interrogators asked him if the murder was premeditated. Amir said yes, the plan was to kill Rabin, adding, not to kill, to silence him politically. How did you plan on doing that, the interrogator asks. The answer, with my pistol. The interrogator then asked him when the idea of killing the Prime Minister first came into his head. Amir answered, during the first Oslo agreement. The videotaped confession was first delivered to Rabin's daughter, Dalia Filosof Rabin, by the chief of police, Duty Cohen. Cohen called the assassination an attempt to murder Israel's democracy. Dalia told participants at a memorial for her father that the feeling that she hadn't done enough to prevent the murder still haunts her. She said she often has the feeling that evil has prevailed. Dahlia didn't know previously that such a videotape existed. She too was shocked by its contents. At the end of the interrogation, investigators asked Amir if he felt any remorse or regret for having murdered the Prime Minister. Amir's answer, absolutely not. The interrogator, now retired police detective Moti Naftali, also watched the tape. He said he asked Amir, how could you kill a fellow Jew, an old man? an Israeli hero, a prime minister. Amir, he said, answered like a robot. Twelve years after the murder, and Daya Rabin said, the pain has only grown.